think you just enjoy doing that. <laughs> I don't think it's really necessary anymore. I think you just enjoy doing it. That's, that's so true. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hi. Ooh, hey. Uh, hey, welcome to the show. Welcome back. Hey, uh, we here with We Adventure uh, Northwest. Uh, sitting next to me, the lovely intern. Still here. Still here. Uh, found a she yet. has. A, oh yeah, we have not found a replacement for her yet. Uh, touchy subject. A little touchy. <laughs> so nobody wants to work for free anymore. No, they don't, and they they don't want to take the abuse either. <laughs> they, I don't know if it's a new thing or not, but yeah, it's interns want to want to have a little respect now. Yeah, and, so ridiculous. Yeah, it, it, it's not gonna roll. <laughs> Not in this podcast studio, yeah, no, anyway. You, you, no, when I need a beer, I need a beer, oh right? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, for And real. I still have to go get it myself. You do. Yes, you do. Anyways. Welcome but, back, uh, everyone. Yeah, welcome. Before we get started, because you know how we do, we just jump right in and forget, like, you know, the things. So let's start out. If Ooh, what you, are the things? You know, the things. If you are not currently a Patreon, head on over to Patreon at www.patreon dot com slash we adventure and w if you are listening to this podcast on your favorite podcast player remember you can see our faces if you go to youtube and subscribe to the we adventure northwest channel <laughs> and actually see this podcast with our faces i don't know that's a 50 50 for me 50 percent yes to see your face 50 percent no to keep my face as a radio face like and have you seen this face? Oh, it's, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's a naked face. It's a naked face. It's uh, I took the beard off. You couldn't, took all of it off. The mustache. I, I did. Everything. I couldn't do it anymore. Everything. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll let it go back. But I, There's pictures right over on Patreon, oh. which is one of the best reasons to become <laughs> a Patreon over there. Sure. Also, you can find Wes over at Facebook, on Instagram, TikTok, um, am I missing anything? It's all under I think, We Adventure I, I think, NW. I think that's the only ones we're under. If you are a tire manufacturer, you carry tires, we're looking at doing a tire review podcast. If you would like us to feature your tires, we sure would. Um, reach out to us on any of those platforms. Let us know. Um, anything else? Thank uh, you. To any all the reviews? And I would say yeah. any uh, equipment, writing equipment, jackets, pants. Oh. Helmets, whatever you want to do, uh, we'll we'll definitely review it for you. Yeah, sure. So yeah, I like it. Yeah. So what are we talking about today? Sorry. Uh, well, today, uh, y'all, wait, wait. Before we get into that, <clears throat> you had said something about that may that just clicked just now. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, it was the thing. What do you think of when you think of the thing? So. <laughs> You guys, you're uh, making me uh, nervous. I love, I love my parents, and we all have oh, the we the all thing. we we all have this inside joke with your parents, right? Ours was the thing. My dad, uh, uh, bless his soul, but he would. It was always you got to go to town for the thing. It could and be the thing. The, for thing the thing was you got to go have lunch. But he would say, <laughs> "I got to go, go to I gotta town go, for the I, thing." What's the thing? thing? It was never well, the, the coffee pot carafe. <laughs> yeah. It was carafe. never about the yeah. actual thing you needed in town. It was all about going to lunch. And, and so we, we yeah, when you say that, it say just made thing. me giggle. Yeah. So it's the thing. I so. do miss your dad running the town. Yeah, the I do all the too. Time. I and do it's too. something we do now, just like. Yeah, every once in a while we'll hey, do let's that. Just hey, go let's get go get the thing. We don't even need to say what the thing is. <laughs> no. hey, you want to run a town to get the thing? No, I know. So Go it's so thing. fun. So I know all of you guys have some secret code for going to lunch. Or yeah, that's ours. Or whatever. That's yeah, ours. That's the thing. It's going to the thing. Yeah. Anyways, so, though, I thought a good topic would be um, two up. There's a lot of people out there that uh, hmm. ride two up. Yes. And uh, we are those people. Well, sometimes. You, you, you know, yeah, we are every once in a while, we are those people. And and it can be a fun experience. It can be a scary experience if you're not used to it. Um, OK, I'm going to preface right here, because yeah. if you've listened long enough to the podcast, 
you know darn well that I have told this guy in the past, oh yeah, I know how to ride a dirt bike. I grew up on dirt bikes. Oh yeah, I want to learn how to fly fish. I can fish. Oh yeah, I want to learn how to ski. I can totally ski. All three of those were a little bit of stretching. The lies. <laughs> you sit on a throne of lies. I do. I do. Oh, so man. So when I told you, hey, I would love to ride with you. Was your, like, in your head, in your head, were you like, oh, oh is this going to be like teaching her to fly fish? Yeah, kind of. Is this going to yeah. be like taking like, her? Oh, she's not going to do it. Yeah. Uh, but you did it. I did it. You know what? When we first started riding two up mm -hmm. uh, back in the day, Wait, was who? you and I. Oh. You and I. Uh, no, this is just you and I circle. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> uh, so it was on a. Uh, oh, the Honda so Ruckus. The Honda, the big the Ruckus, big ruckus yeah. not the little Ruckus that only goes like 35 miles an hour. This is the big 250 cc ruckus. If you guys haven't seen it, it's uh, cool. look it up. It's very cool, yeah. uh, especially when you ride one up and you can put the bark lounger up so you can just sit there and cruise. Yeah, the seat comes up so you can lean back on it. Sure, but, Honda's gonna uh, hashtag that. Yeah, but it was called the big ruckus, and mm -hmm. it was 250 cc. And that when we moved to the island of Maui, mm -hmm. uh, that is. That was, our all, sole that, that was all we had to ride mm -hmm. um, because we were with a dealership over there, and we were shipping your bike. We were in my shipping, car yeah, bikes, way. and well, we sold all the bikes except one. Yes, and so we had shipped that and sold all our vehicles except one. Yep, and so we put, we kept the smallest vehicle we had. Yep, so it would put fit it in a, a fit in a container, and put it in a container. Put the bike um got shipped in a crate yep and it was i don't know it's almost 30 six, days it was more than that it was more like six weeks before we got yeah, my car it, yeah we got it your, was over a month but i couldn't yeah. ride two up with you on the yeah. bike so yeah we 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 did the honda ruckus for oh quite some time and we did everything on it so we did to work grocery and back store on the Ilani highway we went to costco yeah <laughs> i mean we with with you behind there with the ba with mm -hmm. the bags of groceries mm -hmm. on there holding on yes. to it and, yes and laughing the and, whole time yeah. oh yeah it was it was some I it was would some fun times never do that anywhere I've lived on the mainland but because Maui was so laid back and people were so gracious they're so respectful they're over there so respectful and so kind yeah that I never once felt unsafe on the road. With yeah. both of us on there yeah. like people stop to let you i will merge. tell you that the rude people are the tourists they are it, that's who the rude people are and, yeah and then the truth hurts sometimes but yeah we are we, when we go over there to visit and rent a car and all that we're assholes they were the only people that we, would haunt yeah or yeah it, yeah traffic. they're so impatient and and the people of Maui are so laid back. They're just so kind. So friendly. They're family um, oriented. Oh, yeah. We made friends like so fast. So fast and over there. So and they welcoming. took us in. Yeah, they took us in. Even though this isn't a podcast about Maui, I will no. say we still have some amazing friends yeah, on the island. Love you guys. Love them so yeah. much. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, that was our first experience. It was a smaller bike. It definitely is nothing like the Africa Twin. No. No, nothing. Um, We're lacking about a thousand cc's almost. Yeah, right. Nine hundred cc's. I don't math. Now the the that math ain't mathing. The twin is, uh, it it will definitely do two up just fine. And I don't know, you know, you guys that do two up, what what bike do you prefer, um, to do two ups on? Yeah. Um, whether it's a cruiser or whether it's a um scooter or a um, a dual sport like you have. A dual sport. Yeah. You know, adventure bike. Uh, you know, big Harley. Wait, is what do you guys like? Is an adventure bike not a dual sport? Is a dual sport more like your 450? No. Uh, let's see. I consider a dual sport. It's uh, gosh, I don't know. The, That's the another water, podcast. Yeah, the water gets so muddy with that. Okay. It, well, I don't want to say the yeah, wrong term. No, it's just. I think mine's more on the adventure side of it. Uh, the big GSs are 
adventures. So comfortability. I would the say I would. It, yeah, I would say okay. dual sport is more like the the seven hundred one Husqvarna. Okay. Um, yeah. What's the the six the six ninety KTM? I think that's a dual sport. What's the one that starts with a T? Uh, the Tenere. Yeah, what is that? Uh, thank you for knowing man, that. Man, that is that's hard to to justify in the there categories. because that is that's really dirt oriented. Okay, but it can handle the street. So I would say that was more uh, enduro side. Or, yeah. You just made up a new world word. Enduro is adventure. No, enduro is dual sport. Dual sport. Is anybody me. else confused there for Not, a second? It, I'm always confused, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I live in my own world. I'm just here to clarify for the <laughs> listeners and viewers. That's that's what my job is. But but yeah. Uh, so yeah, we've recapped that I am a big talker, mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. so much you know one to make good on those. Stories. Okay. So having. The experiences that we've had two up. Would you have chosen a different bike if you knew I was going to ride as much with you? Um, or wanted to ride as much with you? Yeah, maybe. Okay. Um, just because the Africa Twin is, it, it's more than capable on a two up, uh, but it sits up so high. It's it's yeah. one of the tallest uh, adventure bikes out there, if not the tallest. Okay. Um, did you choose it because you are tall and so it's more comfortable? Uh, no, I chose it because it checked off everything that I wanted, wanted in a bike. And I, I've just always, um, I've always been a Honda guy. Right. Um, so that made it even You've easier. Strayed. But I, I have strayed, but, um, there's a it, KTM in the, yeah, there's KTMs and Yamahas and all that, but. Um, for the bike for me, um, the way it was set up, I just really enjoyed it. Uh, if I was going to tour, if you and I were going to tour a lot, um, That's I was like highway, like highway mm. and maybe a little, little gravel, I would do a, a probably a GS, uh, you know, okay. like a 1200 and 1250 or whatever. And because I think they're like the Cadillacs. They're expensive, but they've got all everything you need on them. The, you know, I don't think the AT is uncomfortable by any means. No, if we were if we were if we were going to do two up like cross country highway, I do a gold wing every day. Yeah, every day of the week. You are not a cross. I mean, no, I, I, I have to go off road. Country, so. Yeah, no, I have to go off road. I, so. I don't want to be on the pavement. I want to be on the dirt as much as I can, but. For two up, yeah. the twin is more than capable of it. Uh, it. It handles it just fine. Like I said, it's a little tall, so it, you feel that Second tallness. person. Yeah, you definitely feel it. Well, and that second seat's a lot higher than the first two. It is, because that bike is kind of set like, uh, it, it's it's a dirt bike, but it's uh, it's also a touring bike, and also kind of a set up like a... Uh, Sport bike. Sport bike. That's how I feel on that sec that back seat. Yeah. Because a lot of times, especially when we first started riding together, you would tell me, you know, you're you're pushing me forward. I need you to sit back and like sit up because my how I felt like I had to sit on that thing was like pressed leaning into you. Forward, yeah, yeah, like leaning forward, like a sport bike. Yeah, and it's like, no, don't do that. You're putting me right into the handle. Yeah, you're like, I can't do this. You're killing me. Like yeah. sit up and sit back. So it took us, gosh two or three rides, yeah. good rides, like long rides yeah. to, to figure out where you were most comfortable with me sitting mm -hmm. and then me trying to figure out where I wouldn't get a flat spot in my butt if yeah. we were going oh, yeah. more than 70 miles before a rest. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So I, and I only have experience with the big ruckus and sport bikes. I don't yeah. know. I don't know a gold wing or anything like that. I've never ridden two up on one of those. The so. bark loungers. Yeah. 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 So I, I like the AT. It's comfortable enough for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we were going 800 miles in a day or we were on the bike for 12 hours, you would have to take a lot of breaks for this girl. Cause my well, legs get yeah. so cramped up on that thing. And I am still not comfortable with knowing 
where all the pieces are on the bike mm -hmm. to know if I can just drop my feet. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'll get that, I'm sure. No, and I think I think the AT is easy to to travel on yeah. with two up, and and when I'm two up, I actually do like to stop more. When I'm when I'm we talked about this with, in the last, yeah yeah we, we did talk about this in the yeah. last one one of the why podcasts. is that is it because you get tired faster because you're no. worried about how my comfortability comfort level comfortability I don't know whatever uh, you know what I, maybe yeah I I think there is a little bit of that where you know you're so concerned with the passenger and how they feel yeah that. Yeah, you do. You do want to because you are constantly yeah, like, it's like we have are you okay? in our helmet, so you will say things like, "Oh no, oh no, do you need to take uh, this? My, do we need to the, pause? No, we're fine. The little ones, the little ones the, calling him, the little ones calling me. He's gonna be in trouble, oh, you no. guys. <laughs> Help me, you guys. Um, yeah. So I mean, you're always asking, "Are you comfortable? How are your legs?" Um, I think one ride we went on to the coast, my ankles were hurting and I'm like, I don't know why this is, but it was the boots that I was wearing. Yeah. And, and so gear is important yeah. too. When you're looking at being a second rider, wear comfortable gear. Don't wear, I'll just throw this out. Like, don't throw, don't, don't wear your skinny pants. Don't wear your skinny leathers. Don't wear something that doesn't let you move around. Don't wear tight shoes. Um, yeah, just be, be comfortable because it can, it can get uncomfortable fast. Yeah. It was my thigh boots that I, or my calf yeah. boots that I had on. Yeah. They're not for riding by any means, but we were going a short distance and it was still like, oh. Yeah. And I think it, I think it's learning foot position on the pegs. That is too. I, I think that helps. Uh, and I have, and, I wouldn't and, say I have really long legs, and, but. I feel like on the AT, you, those pegs you, are high. Like they're they they are. They're up uh, higher. But you do you do probably have long legs. Well, and learn how to dismount. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that always helps. But no, <laughs> I, I, I think the passenger just needs to figure out where they're comfortable and just relax. And and I know that's yeah. that's way easier said than done. It depends but, on if you trust yeah. the, the right the driver the right the rider in front but, of you. But yeah, I think I think they need to just relax, find their comfort zone, and, and it'll make the make the trip a lot nicer. Do you appreciate it when I say in the comms, "Hey, I need to shuffle, like I need to move back, or I, I need do. to move my feet"? Or... I do because then I can prepare for it. Because if you shuffle and I'm in a corner. I would never that's, do that. That's never a good thing. But yeah, never ever do that um, as a second. No, a I, yeah. If you if you have to shuffle or move around, I always like it. Uh, you moving your head back and forth to be able to see. Yeah, that doesn't matter to me. I, I, it doesn't. It doesn't bug me at all. So I get so relaxed when we ride that there have been times that I have almost fallen asleep, and it's like, oh. I need to hold on to something or I'll let yeah, my arms drop. Like I won't yeah. hold on and I'll just let my arms go to the side. And you're like, I need you to hold on to something. And it's yeah. like, well, because I'm usually when, though. when I accelerate up a hill or something, it always, you always go. I do. And back. And it's like, no, you got to get it prepared. Or for, I have the killer so, thigh yeah. grip. So, and yeah. you're like, Oh my, let go of my hips. <laughs> my hips are sore. But yeah. no, I'd like to hear from others. You know, what, what did they, what did they prefer to ride to up? And, yeah. And, you know, so knowing what you know now, do they go? we talked about, you know, would you choose the AT again? I don't go that often. I would say, and it's usually shorter rides, like maybe yeah. 250 miles round trip. I don't think we've been on anything longer than that. I think the longest one we went on was to the coast. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, I think, I think running over the mountain was a little longer. Which over the mountain sisters? Mm -hmm. Oh, um, I didn't realize I, that. I think it was a longer day. See, now when we ride, I prefer like the windier roads mm -hmm. than the straight, like just boring. Oh my God, freeway. me too. Like we don't go freeway. Yeah. Just the highway. Yeah. No, no, no. I, I'm with you. How do you feel about riding off road to up? Um, not great. What about packed gravel versus loose gravel? Uh, packed gravel, fine. Okay. Uh, loose gravel a little bit, but just two up is, I I don't feel like I have the same control. Is it also because I don't have 
writer experience? No, not at all. No, really? yeah, no. I always it's thought that's just, what it was. It's like I'm not just that added weight. Okay. And depending on where you're sitting, mm -hmm. <clears throat> which we have axle, worked on that. Yeah. So where you're sitting versus the center point of the axle on the back end, and make yeah. you know whether you're forward or you're back of the axle makes a really big difference on how that bike handles well, and it, yeah. it's on any bike how well, that's any what i was gonna handles. say it also depends on how tall your second rider mm -hmm. is your two up and how much they weigh because if you have somebody who's five foot two versus my five seven yeah and you've got a weight difference in there you're gonna notice that lower center of gravity more so on somebody who's shorter than i am rather than somebody who's as tall as I am. Oh, so yeah, for that sure. That makes a huge difference. Yeah, for too, sure. Right? Yeah. Yes, yes, for sure. And and I think um and like I said, it, it where the weight is placed. Yeah. Um makes and, a difference. It makes a huge difference. Um and and it just uh, that bike like I said is so tall. Yeah. It when you get that much weight mm -hmm. up that high, it makes that bike handle a lot different. And that back seat, I'm telling you, throws the rider forward. It does, yeah. It's really yeah. hard for me to like sit straight up because I have to sit, like you sit on your butt, right? Yeah. And on that bike, I have to almost sit like forward and then lean back a little bit. So yeah. all of my weight is like uh -huh. on this part of my butt. And a lot of she pressure on my knees. I did. <laughs> Oh, God. I did. Oh, my wife shouldn't come out. <laughs> um, She'll be fine with it. Trust me. She's She'll be fine. Um, yeah. No, no, no. I, I, I get it. That that seat does throw you a little forward. Yeah. And, and so having that driver's seat when does we ride. not. So. Right. So if I'm leaning into you, which. Yeah, it, it's not bad. It's when it's when you start just pushing, pushing. that weight towards me. Yes. And it just. It throws me off mm -hmm. and it's uncomfortable and because it's pushing you forward into yeah the and, tank I, and then and... i don't have the same control yes so. that's funny i mean that it's constantly something and, that we're learning and i don't know i mean i don't think we've ever ridden two up on a cruiser have we mm -mm. yeah because a cruiser you know you sit more Straight laid up. back no yeah. you sit laid back um you no, the adventure bikes you sit straight up um two up but then on yeah. the cruisers, you kind of you recline. You kind of recline back into your your passenger, which I don't know. I you know I don't know. Is it is it more comfortable? I don't know. I, I really haven't done the cruiser thing. I'm not. I've ridden a lot of cruisers. I Just mean, I've, I've ridden almost everything that American Honda has um, available. But I haven't ridden it two up. I've right. ridden all those cruisers, and I feel like the Goldwing is such a heavy bike you wouldn't notice anything. No, I think I think the the Goldwing has both passenger passenger and driver sitting straight up. That yeah. that it's comfortable. Yeah, um, I love the Goldwing. I know you do. And then, but like it's kind of a dual but, sport. I've but like seen the VTXs the and, and, and the Harleys and, and yes. all that. I yes. think I think those kick you back a little bit. Okay. You know. So if you were gonna do like a total comfort bike, would it be the Goldwing? Oh, for sure. For sure. Yeah, hundred percent. It would be the Goldwing. Even if you didn't stick with Honda, if it was any. Yeah. Make, still, all even okay. even if I wasn't a Honda guy, I would still Goldwing, hundred percent for so cross country. Give me your three pros for riding two up with an AT. And let's remind everybody, AT is Honda's Africa Twin. Wes has the 1100, not the 1000, right? Yeah. So what would be your top three? It rides great, but two up because what? Um, well, just the camaraderie right there. I love, I love just having you <laughs> hang out and let's, let's go grab let's go a pizza and... or something. You yeah, know? Uh, uh, same. I think Pizza, it, let's go for tacos. I think it's just, yeah, I think it's just having riding two up. I think it's just that double experience of fun. And I think no matter how okay, the bike. double mint gum. Yeah, I think no matter how the bike handles. Um, I think it's just getting out there with your significant other and and just. Having a shared experience. Yeah, I, I think because he. I, 
You know, it's true. There's an old saying that you see so much more on, on a bike. Yeah. The world around you. You definitely a smell a lot more. Yeah. Oh my God, you do. Uh, but I, I think, Good and bad. I think, I think you can enjoy the highway and the scenery a lot more on a bike. I agree. Because I mean, it's a 360 yeah. around you. So where a car is just, no, I, well, and if you have your visor up, you can actually feel the salt water on your face when you're over the coast. Like yeah, you can, you can feel, feel the elements. You can feel yeah. the wind. You can feel yeah. the cold. You can feel the warm. You can feel and it's the instant. rain. Yes. You know, yes. and in a car, you just don't get that you experience. You can feel the bugs. You can feel the bugs. Yeah. Totally you just bugs. don't get that experience in a car, no. which uh, there's nothing wrong with a road trip in a car. But no, we do them all the if time. If you ever get a chance to do it on, on a bike, yeah. Uh, the road trip will be intensified 100 yeah. fold right there. So what would you recommend if somebody has never taken a passenger with them, has never had a two of, um, ride, get some experience before you put two people on it. No. What if they're an experienced rider, but their, their two up is not. Oh, their two up is not. Yeah. Oh, communication is the biggest thing. Okay. Uh, communication. Cause you talk about being scared. You being, talk about, and before you even start the ride. Yeah. Um, you explain to to that that pillion or your passenger. Pillion. Uh, Where does this fancy pants? Right. I'm a pillion so, now. So it feels royal. You you want to talk to him about how to get on the bike. Oh yes. How to dismount the bike. Oh yeah. Um, because you can't just willy nilly. No, and, get then, off and, and on. then and then yeah. what you need them to do while you ride the bike. And what you do in certain situations. So it's it's all about getting out there and talking to them mm -hmm. and, and making sure they're comfortable before they just get on. Because you really shouldn't just trust somebody and just Strap jump on, on the and go. And go. No, that's that's no. Oops. Yeah. Uh, don't do that. Uh, we I, call that squids. I don't. So I don't do that. But yeah. So just don't do that. Just have a good communication and, and you'll have a way better experience. Yeah. You won't be, you won't be scared and be afraid of it or as scared or as scared. Um, and you'll be comfortable and, and you'll be a little more relaxed because you'll know what to expect. I would say if it is your first time being on the back of a motorcycle with someone, one, don't do it with somebody you meet in a parking lot and they just have a bike and you're like, can I go? Don't do that. Um, definitely have someone that you trust and you know their riding ability. And then I think the most important thing is try to relax and just feel what they're doing and copy that. Yeah, just mimic. Yes. Just be a mirror of what they do. Yeah, don't make any sudden movements. No. If you're going into a corner and they're leaning into it, don't lean the other way. Yeah, don't lean the opposite way. It's the funny thing about motorcycles is... They're not like cars where you can't, you can't just do your own thing because everything you do, they feel, I meaning think, the driver. I think it's called geometry. Is it geometry? I, I don't think know. So. I don't know. A thing in motion continues in motion. Mm -hmm. What is that? That's not actually a saying. I don't know, but a bike wants to stand up straight. And so when you're in a corner and all that, it wants to stand up straight. So, so do I that, most of the time. That's why... You, your passenger and all it has to be relaxed and yes and lean with the bike and just be yes. be the bike be, be the, the ball bike. be the ball be, be the ball. be the bike yeah just so. be the bike and make sure if you you know if you are not if you're if you want to go ride make sure you have your protective gear i am such a huge proponent of safety gear make sure you have yeah. a helmet make sure you have a jacket pants boots gloves all of the things because knock on wood it only takes one corner mm -hmm. with some loose gravel in it the bike slides out and you need to have your protection so safety sally will come out and say that is probably know the person that you're riding with know their riding ability and then make sure that you have proper safety gear yeah. when you're riding uh, and, and i'm 100 percent behind that yeah i think i i see these people all the time where well, even the rider but the passenger has got flip-flops shorts and a halter top no you know or or spaghetti tank top, yeah yeah tank yeah. top and, and and if you hit the pavement uh -uh. you're hamburger yeah and i guarantee you your driver is gonna put it down at least 
one time in his whole oh sure his career, or her yeah, yeah. and in his whole writing experience he's going to put it down of course and so do you want to be that person that looks like hamburger Mm-mm. so you know that's the I reality know, of I, it i know the gear it can get it can get expensive <clears throat> but at least you know wear something that gives you ankle support it, wear at least jeans at least something to cover your legs which jeans will just shred, shred. but it gives you that a little bit of protection we have different right safety sally says but and, and get a good jacket Yes. And something that has something elbow that protection, has the, something the that has back so when you protection. Do go down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, when you think about and your... get a good helmet. Yeah. Please don't, get a good helmet. Don't buy don't you know, I, I don't know how many times I can stress is don't skimp on these cheap helmets. No. You definitely want to protect your your body. So that would be not to not to dwell on it, but as a as a two up rider you know, you don't have any control over that bike. You don't know when that high side is going to happen or that slide out is going to happen. You have no clue. It just happens. So you don't have the same reaction time as the rider. You don't know that you are going to push off that bike, that those foot pegs are going to be, you know, screaming underneath you. You just have to be protected. So that would be my 27 cents. Yeah. And and I know, I know we are all taking the risks that we want to take and it's all your choice. Absolutely. So if you want to wear those flip flops and those shorts, I hope we uh, don't meet at the go, gas station. Go, <laughs> go ahead. Um, but just know you're taking that risk. Just know that if I go down, I'm probably walking away from it. Yeah. And if you go down, you're taking an ambulance ride. Yeah. So, just well, that, that went, that went, that went, that okay. Did. We need to bring it back. We need okay. to bring it back. Happy thoughts. Happy, happy thoughts. thoughts. Happy thoughts. So, okay. So, two things okay. about the Africa twin riding two up okay. that you did not realize until the first ride out. And you were like, Oh, I don't like this. Uh, I was not expecting this. Very top heavy. Okay. Uh, very top heavy. Uh, that's probably the only thing I really have is it's really, it, yeah. It, I don't think I have two just for one? two up. I think I just have one and, and, you know, I knew the bike was tall, mm-hmm. but man, you put another person on that. That thing is, it, you can really feel how top heavy it is. Okay. So I think that would be my number one kind of, oh, that caught me off guard. Okay. Kind of deal. Because it's not low to the ground. Like a cruiser is, you're low to the you ground. Are. Your center, Your center gravity of gravity is down. They handle a lot better. I, yes. I, I think hands down, a cruiser is way better two up so- than... These Maybe when bikes. I retire and you're older, no. we'll get a cruise. No. No. Well, you better be shopping for that Honda 300 because <laughs> you're not going to leave me home once I retire. Yeah, I'll get you a rally or something. I okay. don't know, but I'm not. Yeah, I just... Maybe maybe we'll have a gold wing in the back. I cannot wait ready, 10 but... years down the road for all of our listeners to be like, wait, Wes just brought a gold wing? Let's <laughs> yeah. replay. Yeah, yeah Wes just brought a gold wing. Doodly doo, doodly doo, doodly doo, back yeah, to this yeah, podcast. And it may happen one of these days. I wouldn't mind. Actually, I really wouldn't mind having a gold wing. Just saying. No. It'd be fun to go to. It would be fun to cruise on it and just, just go. Just go. The wide open road. Yeah. Yeah. Like wild hog. Yeah, it would be actually fun. Just saying. <laughs> Crack me up. Well, we are definitely over our time that yeah. we've been trying to limit ourselves to. Well, Thank you yeah. so much for letting me ride with you. I do enjoy it very much. I know yeah. I have a lot to learn. I really Love am having you. appreciative of the calm system so that I can talk mm-hmm. to you and yeah, tell you. That's always nice. Hey, we need to pull over because, you know, I'm sore or. I got to pee. <laughs> that's never something I say. No, that is You not. always say that. I do. Yeah, I don't say that. Yeah, or any, uh, mine is, are we going to stop for lunch? Can we stop yeah. for the thing? Yeah, we're going to stop for the are thing. Are we going to go for the thing? Yeah. So, yeah. I have a good time riding with you, I think. Yeah, I don't see that changing anytime soon, and I'm glad good. you got the AT. Good, good. Yeah, no, we can put a lot of miles on that thing. Before we get the gold wing? Before we get the gold wing. What was the Hayabusa? Is that one? Uh... That's a sport bike. Is it really? Mm-hmm. It didn't Suzuki? look like the big bike. The Suzuki Hibusa? The really, really big one? Yeah. The black one we sold in Maui. Yeah. That was a sport bike? Yeah. 
Oh. Yeah, that was a huge. I, like if I could pick a bike for Jason remember. Momoa because we've been watching his, oh, you know, on yeah. the realm or whatever no, it is. He's a he's a big hardcore Harley. Guy. I know, but that would be one of the bikes that I would picture if him on. If he was a sport so bike, yeah, big. then yeah, probably yeah. I didn't realize it was a sport bike. Shame on me. I just mm -hmm. remember it was really like wide, yeah. like it had a yeah. it had a stance to it. Yeah. Hmm. I've had my days on those sport bikes. They're fast. They're scary. Well, yeah, when you ride a thousand RR. Yeah, they were, yeah, they were, that, the thing was not meant for the streets. Sure it was. It just wasn't so, meant for the police. No, yeah, sure. But anyways, uh, with that said, I think we're to wrap this up. Probably. Yeah. Remember, remember. head on over to www.patreon.com slash we adventure northwest find us over on youtube make sure you subscribe hit that like button and the bell so that you're notified every time we put our faces over here and then definitely follow us on your favorite podcast platform facebook instagram tiktok we adventure and w did i miss anything no you didn't you did a great job Thank and you. you know i i hope you guys enjoyed this uh show so we will Say our goodbyes and <laughs> see you on the next one. So thanks, guys. Stay safe and have many adventures. Bye. See ya.